How's it going, Rogues Gallery, and welcome to another Grand Archive video here on Red Zone Rogue. Today, I have a lot to share with you guys. I want to talk about Grand Archive, why it is my most anticipated game of the year, and every new update they give makes me more excited for it. I already kind of talked about this in a previous video. They got rid of all of the NFT stuff, so if you're someone who checked out their Kickstarter and you were like, no, I don't want to deal with the NFTs, they're gone. No more NFTs. And every new thing I see is just so good. They have a great presence at major conventions like uh, AX, Anime Expo, and um, there's a lot of people playing the game. It's not even out yet, but they play like on Tabletop Simulator or with the print and play, and the community is growing and thriving, and I have a, a lot of hope for the game. And not only that, you could see something this, this way. Um, they released a new website, and it looks better than some triple A TCGs that I've seen. Like their website is legit. So we're gonna go over the website. We're gonna talk about what Grand Archive has been doing, how it's progressing, and just share with my share with you my excitement for it. The official set does have an early 2023 release window for the um, what basically is gonna you know be their unlimited print product, right? The Kickstarter product is coming out this year but their unlimited print product is gonna come out um, a little bit you know, early next year. And personally, I backed it for 11 boxes. So I'm really excited to get into it, really excited to play. And um, just ask your LGS if they can carry it. I know they're gonna have a distribution through like normal distribution means. So yeah, just ask your LGS if they can carry it and you know if they can get their distributor to carry Grand Archive because I think it's gonna be really good. <laughs> it's going to be really good. Um, I legitimately think it's going to be one of the premier anime style games. It, it, it's a cut above all of the other Kickstarter TCGs, just flat out. With Sorcery aside, it is a cut above all the other ones. Sorcery is different. Sorcery is completely different. Um, but yeah, let, let's take a look at this website. I, I think Sorcery is different because it has a different audience. It has a different vibe. Um, Grand Archive is really going for, um, you know, the card gaming market, whereas Sorcery is more like board gaming. So anyway, here is their website. And as you can see, it has like this animated opening. We, we've seen this on their Kickstarter, an anime TCG with Western style game design in stores quarter one, 2023. And they do have a Discord. I do recommend joining the Discord. They have, you know, promo giveaways and art contests and stuff like all the time. Um, and it says, uh, clean design, the first anime TCG that focuses on card clarity, low stat numbers and precise rules text and here you can see some of the, the preview cards here like i said this is just so good like the website is so clean uh, limitless deck building over 24 basic deck archetypes to explore from within the very first set i really love the deck building like how it's set up for this game because you you have your um like basically what, what's going to call uh, your your side deck, your extra deck. I'm not going to use the jargon in this video because if you don't know what Grand Archive is, me, me calling it like the material deck, you're not going to know what that is. But it's basically like a side deck where you have your, um, your champion and like other cards you can manifest like swords and equipment and, and that kind of stuff. Um, but like you, like you can see, you pick an element, then you pick your champion and how your champion levels. And um, you can kind of mix and match because of that, right? So you could pick a fire element and then a warrior hero or champion, or you could pick like a water element and then a warrior. So you can have like a water warrior, fire warrior, wind warrior, um, you know, wind assassin, fire assassin. You can kind of mix and do like whatever you want, which I think is awesome. I mean, it makes deck building so interesting. Um, then we have the, the collectability aspect. And first of all, you can see some of the art here, which is absolutely gorgeous um i know this uh mordred on the left here is done by uh hanchu i i think i always mispronounce her name it might be like hanchu i'm so sorry han i, I mispronounced your name I'm, I'm so bad but absolutely brilliant artist and the art on the, the right i'm not sure who this is but that looks beautiful so very much dig the art it's so good and then we have these collector rares with gold foil signatures that will appear in both booster sets. It'll appear in the Kickstarter set as well as like the uh, unlimited set. Um, and these are gonna be pretty rare. So they're gonna be like big chase cards, pretty hard to get. And then here we have some articles and we're, we're gonna definitely go over the articles, including one that was just posted a day ago about their anime expo, the AX uh, 2022. 
and they had a huge booth and like a ton of people showed up. It's so sweet. And then they also have a newsletter where you can sign up as a store owner, a player or whatever. So if you're a store owner and you want to carry um, Grand Archive, reach out to them, you know, sign up for this. I know they're very, very um, responsive to that kind of stuff. And they also have like their various socials, Discord, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that kind of, kind of good stuff. Uh, the Omni decks up here at the top, and let me make sure that you can see that on, yeah, you, you can. Okay, cool. So yeah, the Omni decks up here at the top that says uh, coming soon here. This is going to be, I believe, their organized play system. And they, Grand Archive is going to have you know, official organized play and events. They want to make this, you know, into a card game where you can go on a circuit and go to like a, you know, organized play, pro level events, all that kind of good stuff. All right. So let's look at more of the website here. This is the um, beginner's guide getting started. And here there's a video, video, I said that weird video guide, as well as just like a generic how to play. These are all of the main um, champions in the Dawn of Ashes set, but there's more. There, there's what is called Limit Break Champions. And the preview video that I did for Merlin, if you haven't watched that, go check that out. I spent a lot of time on that video and I think it turned out really, really well, especially like the voice acting and the animations turned out pretty well. Um, but the uh, these are the main, main characters of the first set. So you have Lorraine, uh, she's a warrior. You have Rai, a mage, Sylvie, the tamer, and Xander the Assassin. I, I love the design of all these characters. They look fantastic. And the Limit Break Heroes champions look fantastic. I need to get the nomenclature right. But um, yeah, they talk about you know how to play. I'm not gonna go into it in detail here. I will have a how to play video eventually as well as more videos with the developers of the game because I wanna talk to them more about it and maybe play a little bit and have, have some fun time. So. Anyway, yeah, you talk about the material deck consisting of your champions and regalia cards, which are, you know, like your equipment, um, trinkets, that kind of stuff. Um, and then your main deck that has your um, allies, your actions, um, attacks, all that kind of good stuff. And, um, you know, it just kind of really goes into it. So, like, this has, like, just a, a comprehensive how to play section, and it, it just keeps going, right? It's not like bare bones, like, it keeps going. And it really wants you to know how to play this game. I know a lot of the critique initially was like, oh, there's not like very much on how to play. No, no, no. They, they've got their stuff together. Like there is a comprehensive how to play, um, including like turn phases, paying for memory, um, materializing, leveling up your champions, other card types. Um, this one's really cool. Card type domain, which is kind of a, a new thing that I didn't know before this um, website launched so that's really cool you can have a domain and i believe you can only have one at a time um oh no it says domains are sacrificed whenever it's controlled and materializes a card yeah so just really really cool um other notes just you know comprehensive uh, other notes just like uh, faqs but also there's a comprehensive rule set and then also there's print and play so you can just print these out right now like you can literally just print out the decks right now and play with them if you want to. And then you can follow the rules here and the comprehensive rules. Like like I said, like this website is better than most AAA TCG websites that I've seen. And let's see if we can open up the comprehensive rules here. I'm pretty sure it's just boring. It's just like, yeah, it's just a boring set of the rules here. So let's click this. Grand Archive, comprehensive rules, updated 7-7, which was like two days ago. And then look, here's all the rules. You want the rules, comprehensive rules? There you go, 37 pages of rules. Like. It took other games how long to get the comprehensive rules out? Like, their game's not even out yet and they have comprehensive rules. So, yeah, that, that's up, you know, the getting started, how to play. Let's take a look at the articles real quick, and then we're, gonna, we're just going to kind of go across the top here and talk about things. Um, look, they have a bunch of articles out here already, including, like, the Beginner's Guide, uh, Welcome to Grand Archive. We'll go over these individually because a lot of these are covered up here, including, like, the... Um, story the world of like cambria um i think the products is going to be really interesting let's, let's check out the product so this is a grand archive product list um here's a little bit about distribution i already kind of mentioned it a little bit but if your distributor that is interested in grand archive you know here's their thing and by thing i mean website and by website i mean email um and so, so here here we go here here is the set um release schedule so there's another thing you're like, oh, what's the set release? They just have one set and that's it. No, they don't. First set Q1 2023 
is Dawn of Ashes. It's a standard sized set. Then they have Arm, which is going to be a supplemental set, closely following it in Q2 2023. That'll be interesting. Then we have Q3 2023 ALC, which is another standard set. And then Gen, which is another supplemental set. So it looks like they're going to be following a, like a big set, small set kind of pattern here. I'm not sure how big these sets are going to be, you know, relative to each other. But this means every quarter they're going to have something, which is great. So you can, you know, keep up to date. And, you know, if these supplemental sets aren't going to be very big, then you might not have to buy so much product. So it should help with like wallet fatigue and that kind of stuff. So, yeah, they do have a product list. And we can click on um, Dawn of Ashes here and then we can look you know, look into it a little bit deeper. You know, we have lore here we can click. We have um, the first edition. This is just going to take us to the, the Kickstarter page, I believe. Yeah, this is going to take us to the Kickstarter page. Um, and then we have Alter Edition. And Alter Edition is basically what the um, Unlimited is. And so here, let, let's click on the Alter Edition because that's the one that's a little bit more, you know, new. And uh, here we have Donna Ash's product sheet. Um, starter decks releasing Q1 2023. It's going to have three starter decks. So it's going to have um, the Warrior, the Mage, and the Tamer. And I do believe it comes with some Assassin starter packs in, in the decks. So you can kind of get an idea of how they play. Yeah, it says right here. Um, each, uh, each deck, Lorraine, Rai, and Sylvie starter decks also include three Assassin class starter packs. Uh, starter decks have a chance at a randomly inserted uh, collector rare card, which is really cool. I know some other Japanese style games do that, like uh, Y Schwartz does that where you can get like random spicy cards in the starter decks, which is really, really cool. Uh, so you do have a chance when you buy a starter deck to get something really nice. Um, and we also have the Alter Edition itself with uh, booster packs. This looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the art and the design here. Um, you can see the, the product info here, 275 cards in the set. You can have 267 foil variations. I know the foils are gonna be pretty hard to get. Um, you get 12 cards per pack. Uh, 24 packs per box and then six boxes per case all right so yeah and here's the the rarity distributions there's uh, only four of the collector rares five ultras 31 supers that's a lot of supers uh 53 rares uncommon 72 and 114 commons and then it says uh these are like the upcs and all that kind of stuff msrp for box is um uh, 108 bucks and msrp for a pack is like 450 but um yeah, oh, I really want to get one of these that has a uh, Han signature on it. Uh, that would be really cool. But anyway, yeah, like I said, they have their stuff together. Here, let's go back a little bit. And we can check out the Kickstarter one real quick. There's not, I mean, it's the Kickstarter. So like, if you've seen the Kickstarter before, you can just go on here and check it out. I'm not gonna really gonna go over this because it's not new stuff, but um, I did obviously back the prod project because um, I believe in the game. Um, I believe in it more now. Okay, so let's go back to the articles because I, I, I still want to talk about some other stuff here because there's a lot to talk about. So like there, let, let's, let's take a look at the Anime Expo wrap up. There's also like these here. I'll just open up these in more tabs. I just want to show these real quick because I think these are important. Um, we'll do the can. Oh, these are opened up. Oh no, they I, I opened these up poorly. Hold on. Let, let's just let's let's take a look at the convention schedule first. All right. So here's the Grand Archive convention schedule. They do have a bunch of conventions that they want to be going to, which is which is awesome. It means that they're getting out there. They're like spreading the word. Um, there are like promo cards and promo decks and merch that you can get there, art prints and a, a ton of cool stuff. And we'll take a look at the Anime Expo thing. But they're also going to be at Anime Mat uh, Anime Matsuri, Matsuri, uh, Collecticon Long Beach, Collecticon Dallas. Um, I really wish they would come to one of the ones in Portland because I would, or I guess they already went to Dallas, but uh, I would love to go to one of these events and uh, check them out in person. And so here, here's the AX one. Um, yeah, so look at this really cute, like Sylvie deck box. Look at that, <laughs> that's awesome. And then here's some of the promo cards you can get. This Honorable Vanguard was an exclusive to the um, AX, and so they got rid of all their extras. So. These are going to be kind of like a chase thing, I think. Um, I myself, I'm trying to get a playset of them. Uh, these two will be in other places, including this dungeon guide with once again art by the fantastic uh, Honshu. Anyway, so let's go back to the articles. I, I want, I just want to show off the Anime Expo one. So here is um, the Anime Expo wrap up, and here's also their Twitter feed. Um, Merlin, yeah, I spoiled this. Yeah, check that out. <laughs> once again, you should watch the video. So Anime Expo 2022 wrap up. Uh, look at this. 
that had a decent crowd. I know people were there like constantly. A couple of my patrons, um, shout out to you folks. They were there. I know they picked up some promos and like, just look at this. They had a really, really large booth and some spicy artwork there. And uh, they talk about some of the promos here and how many they gave out. I'm not gonna go into specifics right now, but you can just check out the website and look. But I, my point here is that, <laughs> it's really cute. The, the point at, the point here is like, it's, it's a big success and a lot of folks are really enjoying the game. It's not just me shouting into the ether, right? And just be like, oh, look at this game that I like, which is basically what I do for a lot of these videos anyway. But my point is, is a lot of folks are sleeping on Grand Archive right now. And I think it's, it's like legit. Um, anyway, let's move on to the champions. This is a little bit more exciting. So here we actually get to see the characters and they have just a whole thing with all the characters. So like, once again, this just enforces that I really think that they have got their stuff together. Just a fantastic website. So we have the character here, um, Alan. I can definitely tell who did the art. This is definitely uh, Han's artwork, but it also has like some lore about the character, some cards here. We have um, Lorraine, kind of like the flagship character in my opinion. Um, we have Mordred who looks awesome. I love his like style and I love how colorful all the characters are. It just looks so cool. Um, and you can see some like warrior, like water warrior cards, like this title sweep and stuff. Um, here we have Rai the wizard. Um, all these characters are from the Grand Archive, which is a, a place in the world. It's kind of like, um, I don't want to say it's like an isekai, if you know what that means, but it's kind of like there's, there's multiple worlds and stuff, which is cool. And then here we have uh, Xander, who is the, um, the main uh, assassin character for the set. So. Uh, Alan was uh, one of the Limit Break um, characters, right? So we have Alan, one of like the, the secondary, uh, he's basically the secondary tamer, where Sylvie is like the primary tamer of the set. Alan's like the secondary tamer. Um, we have Xander as the, the primary assassin and uh, Tristan as the, um, like the, the Limit Break assassin. And she looks rad. Like she looks, she looks really, really cool. I'm really excited for the assassin class. Um, and then of course we have Merlin, the uh, character and champion that I was able to spoil. Once again, definitely go check out the video, but like, look at her art. She looks so cool. Merlin Veritor look, looks awesome. So once again, they have like all this lore already all detailed out. And it's more than just this, right? Um, they have uh, like here, let, let's um, go back to the articles. So here we have like Lorraine, welcome to Camelot. And then just lore, look at this. If you want to read a, you know, read into the lore, they have it. Um, they have a whole story section here. Like, so here's like the home world. So you can learn about what the Grand Archive even is and a little bit about that. The, the characters that come from the Grand Archive, characters in uh, Dawn of Ashes, uh, the world of Cambria uh, in Dawn of Ashes. Um, so here we have like Avalon, Camelot, uh, Varric. Uh, here we have some more characters like House Pendragon, you know, like um, Arthur Pendragon, uh, Korhazi. We have, uh, you know, mystical creatures and just just tons of cool stuff, including more art and um, lore to come. So, like I said, it's again, this is, I'm, I'm like I'm beating the dead horse here. Like, it's so legit. Like, they've been working really hard. It's not one of those like Kickstarter projects where they're like, oh yeah, we, we scooped up all your money. Here's the first set done. Like. No, they, they are building this into like a thing. Um, I think we already looked at, yeah, we already looked at the products list. They have a card database as well. That's a pretty good card database where you can type in stuff and, you know, learn about the cards and you can even get like images of the cards if you want to do like a print and play kind of thing. Like, it's awesome. Um, very much digging. Also looked like there was a place for commenting. Uh, I'm not going to show the comments because I don't know what the comments are saying. Um, just for like uh, YouTube uh, monetization things. And then they have like more events, including uh, organized play, which is not here yet. Conventions. And then of course, merch coming soon. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, like that, that's kind of what I basically wanted to talk about here is that Grand Archive. I, I, I really do think it's like legit. I think it's going to be like, I think a lot of folks are sleeping on it basically is, is what I'm trying to, to get at. And I just want more folks to be aware of it and how just like awesome it is. I think a lot of people who previously played Force of Will, I think you're going to really love Grand Archive because I think Grand Archive has their stuff together and Force of Will kind of doesn't. The art is just like 
phenomenal. The gameplay is really, really good. And they've been like, you know, iterating on it and just making it better and just hammering it out. They've been like working on it like constantly so that the product is just good when it launches. So I just two huge thumbs up for Grand Archive from me. It's, it's, it's a game that I initially, you know, saw and I really dug their art style. I really dug what they were trying to do. And it really feels like they're living up to my expectations for it. And I had pretty high expectations for it. Uh, both Grand Archive and I mentioned before, Sorcery are the two Kickstarter games that I personally really genuinely believe in. Like these are games that I want to play more of. I want to go to events. You know, if they do coverage, I want to do coverage. Like these are games that I like. And um, I think they're games that I could end up like really loving and making into like staples for myself and for the channel here. So yeah, really excited for Grand Archive. It very likely is going to be like a staple here on Red Zone Rogue. I hope this doesn't age poorly because I, I really want the game to succeed. And um, I hope you hope you all check it out. Um, like I said, it's going to be launching quarter one, 2023. Um, you're probably going to be able to pick up a Kickstarter product, but it's going to be really expensive. Um, you might just want to wait until Q1 2023, but you can do the print and play right now if you just want to play. Or you can go to some of those events and they'll give you demo decks for free, right? So, yeah, maybe maybe I'll do like a, a big giveaway or something when the Kickstarter product product comes out because I think I'm going to be getting like a bunch of the Kickstarter like um, starter decks. So I don't need like six of them or however many that I'm getting. So maybe I'll do like a big giveaway or something so I can get some folks to to try Grand Archive out. I want to do like a, a Patreon, like Grand Archive tournament, or maybe maybe not maybe not even just for Patreon, maybe just like a Red Zone Rogue Grand Archive tournament, like a launch celebration thing or something um, that I think will be fun. Because I, I have an extra, I have an extra Lorraine Christmas promo that someone never claimed. So I could use that as a prize or something. Hmm. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of Grand Archive. Um, I. I don't know what else to say. I think folks are sleeping on the game. I think it's fantastic. Um, I think it's very, very well polished. I think the folks over at Weebs of the Shore are doing, and <laughs> that's their names, um, I think they're doing a fantastic job. And I can't wait to see what the future is, what the future holds for Grand Archive. I hope people buy it. I hope, people, hope it's successful because I think this one, out of all the other TCGs, I think this one has a real chance. So yeah, that's that. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Um, I have links in the description down below to all of my like uh, merch and all that kind of stuff. I do have some more anime stuff coming in the near future. Some of it is very spicy. Um, it's like uh, summer themed. They're at the beach. I mean, come on. It's got to be a little spicy. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, everyone. And we'll see you next time.